let us discuss this very important concept complex valid function okay so actually basically it is a function f from c to c set of complex numbers to set of complex numbers and we denote in this way w is equal to f of z so you know that when we have any complex number z we write in this way x plus i y where x is a real part of z and y is imaginary part of z. So when we have any complex valued function, we can express it in the same way, real part plus i into imaginary part. We denote it in this way. So u of xy plus i v of xy. So here u and v, both of them are functions of x and y, getting? And u is called real part of this function and v is called imaginary part of this function, okay? or we write in this way real part real part of f of z is equal to u of x y and imaginary part imaginary part of f of z is equal to v of x y so this is very important concept okay so let us discuss few examples in uh, those examples we are going to discuss how to separate real and imaginary part of a given function make a screenshot of it then we will go further let us discuss this first example the given function is f of z is equal to z square we have to express it as real part plus i into imaginary part what will i do i will put z is equal to x plus i y so it will be x plus i y square so you know that a plus b bracket square formula a square plus 2 a b plus b square let us use this formula here then what will we have x square right plus 2i xy plus i square y square what is value of i square it is minus 1 so therefore we will have minus y square after that what will i do i will collect real part i will collect imaginary part so therefore x square and i square means minus 1 minus y square plus 2xy i getting so this is real part of f of z we denote it as u of x y and this is imaginary part of f of z we denote it as v of x y so in this way we find real part and imaginary part of a given complex valued function let us discuss one more example make a screenshot of it then we will go further so now we have a function f of z is equal to e raised to z to make real and imaginary part separate what will we do we will put z is equal to x plus i y let us do it here. So this is equal to e raised to x plus i y. I hope you know a raised to n plus n is equal to a raised to n into a raised to n. So this is rules of indices we can use here. So what will we have e raised to x into e raised to i y. Do you know this relation e raised to i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta. We have already discussed it right. So see e raised to i y we can replace it by cos y plus i sin y. Let me write that thing here cos y plus i sin y. Let us multiply and solve this bracket. So we will have e raised to x cos y plus i e raised to x sin y right. So this is real part we denoted by u of x y and this is imaginary part we denoted by v of x y. So in this way, if you have any complex valued function, we can definitely express it as u of x, y plus i, v of x, y. That means real part plus i into imaginary part. This is very important thing. Okay, make a screenshot of it. After that, we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.